Hello everyone, my name is Python Jimmy and welcome back to the 44th episode of Python's Realm. We are back today my friends and since the last episode I have gone ahead and I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff. All of this stuff is going to be stuff we sell aside from these four bits right here which are going to be organized into chests. Now one thing I've never really realized is, check this out guys, check out just how much a full stack of beetle husks sell for. 49 gold, 50 silver, which means that each one is worth 50 silver. That, my friends, is a hell of a lot of money for a stack of beetle husks, isn't it? That's fantastic. <laughs> so as you can see, we've already got two platinum coins just from selling stuff before the episode started. Uh, pirate staff. Hold on. I just want to make sure I've still got a pirate staff behind. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So we can actually go ahead and uh, sell the stuff. All right, so here we go. We've got all this stuff here to sell. So much stuff. All of these stuff... Well, all of these things are basically dupes, okay? So there's no worries. I'm not getting rid of stuff that I haven't already, uh, you know, got, you know, left behind in the chests, if you get what I mean. So, yeah, basically, I'm not selling stuff that I don't have two of. So, yeah. All right, so Pumpkin Moon, this is going to be another one. I mean, just look at the amount of stuff we have in here. Frost Moon, I've already sorted that. These are all of the uh, individual unique items so far. Obviously, the Snowman Cannon is going to be something we need to try and get. Uh, I'm just trying to think, are there any other weapons? The Chain Gun is probably one of them as well. Uh, Martian Manners, we need to get the Laser Machine Gun. All of this stuff at the top here is dupes, so I can get rid of that. Uh, Celestial Pillars, I can maybe get rid of that chest, actually, because I just don't need it, do I? Uh, we've got the Moon Lord chest. Uh, let's go and sell those things. I mean, we've already got all of this stuff. Uh, Duke Fish Run, anything, any t anything in terms of dupes? Uh, that's a dupe. I can sell that. Okay, is there anything else? I mean, suspicious looking truffle. Uh, or tentacle. Suspicious looking truffle. <laughs> if only that was a thing, that'd be kind of funny. Okay, so we've got a seedler. Uh, yeah, we can start selling some of these dupes up here. We've got all these spore sacks. Don't need them. We've got this thing here. Uh, any dupes down here? Doesn't look like it. We just, I think what we really need to get now is just the axe from Plantera, and we're pretty much done. Uh, here we go. So, mechanical wagon piece. I can never remember what gives what, but the twins, I can put that away in there. And, uh, yeah, the rest of it, I mean, we ju we've just got loads of things to organize, really, haven't we? I mean, we've got all this bee wax here, hive packs. I love these hive packs, by the way. A very, very good accessory uh, early hard mate. What is that doing in there? That is a Plantera drop. Not entirely sure what that's doing there, but uh, let's go ahead and put you in there. Uh, Queen Bee, what else have we got? We've got Nectar, that's looking good. We've got a bee shirt, we've got two of them. Uh, we've got a bunch of bee names, bottled honey, honeycomb, uh, bee gun. Okay, looking good. Honeyed goggles. And, yeah, okay, pretty cool. Oh, we've got two hive ones. We don't need two hive ones, so we can get rid of that right there. Okay, so we've got some more stuff to sell real quick. So, uh, so starting from here. Wow, they sell for one gold each. That's pretty decent. Three gold, ten gold, one gold, ten, ten, ten. Lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. <laughs> this is brilliant. But look at us. Look at us now, guys. We've got four platinum coins stacked up with the already 18 platinum coins we have. We now have 22 platinum coins, which is by far and away the most amount of platinum I've ever had. So, yeah. I hate it, buddy. I forgot to sell this one as well. There you go. Let's have a little bit of that. And let's, uh, let's quick stack that real quick. Okay. Fantastic. So, things are looking good, folks. Things are looking good indeed. All right. So, we're going up to the Lunar Town real quick. Uh, what have we got in terms of fragments and whatnot? Oh, oh man, we've got all this stuff to clear out as well. Oh, jeez, man. This is craziness. Okay, so in today's episode, it's probably going to be another, you know, boss and event farming episode. I mean, I really do want to try and get some trophies, and I really do want to try and get some more drops. Now, I really don't imagine that uh, we're going to have too much trouble in terms of taking guys down, but uh, you never know with this game. You never know. It's expert mode. It's not really a guaranteed kill every single time you take on Moon Lord, is it? So, you know, if we can get something going, that'd be amazing. But if not, then you know what? I'm not too heartbroken about it. So here we go. All right. So the next timer we are going to create, we have ourselves 68 Vortex Fragments. 68 of the buggers. Wow. Okay. So we need a grand total of 36 bars. Is that? 36 bars? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so we've got the Vortex Helmet, and we can also make ourselves the Vortex Breastplate. So that means we need to just farm our Moon Lord and the Pillars again, and uh, then we'll be able to start, you know, getting some more of this stuff. Uh, what? How come that didn't go on there? Boom. Oh, you, you left-click it. Okay. 
Okay, that's fine. Cool. Nice one. I thought we had to right click to put on, but apparently I'm wrong. So that is great. Fine and dandy. All right, you can go in there. You can go in there, 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 and there. Okay, fantastic. So we just need to farm out fragments and luminite bars now, right? Let's let's just be realistic here. That's all we need to do. If we can just farm out moon on a whole bunch of times, we might be able to get some of the some of the more unique drops. Uh, SDMG is something we don't have. What else don't we have? Uh, we've got the Lunar Flare, Last Prism. Uh, I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. There's nine weapons, and I've already got, like, a couple of them here. Hmm. Okay. Right. So, I need to farm out some bosses, don't I? So, I'm going to go to the OG tree base. I'm going to put some stuff away real quick, and then uh, we're going to farm out some bosses. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of Plantera. Uh, we also need to get some trophies from even the most basic bosses, like the Eye of Cthulhu, the Eater of Worlds. We don't have trophies for them yet, so we need to go and do that. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically the premise of this episode. I mean, I did mention previously that that is pretty much what the rest of the series is going to be, isn't it? It. Let's let's just be real here. It's gonna be a whole bunch of boss and event farming and that's just how it is I'm afraid so Yeah, we've already done all our building projects, so we don't really need to do anything else there. God dang it I just I just put everything away though. I just got out there we go. Alright, six of those. We can maybe start farming up the eyes of Cthulhu right now in fact So here we go. Let's get these guys going uh, Hello Hello, hi there buddy and dead there you go. Okay, right. Was there a trophy down there? No, there was not. Okay, so we have ourselves seven more of these buggers. I wish I could, like, summon more than one at the same time. That would be hilarious. Oh, no! Oh, no! Yo, he's gone berserk. And not anymore, because he's slightly dead. Alright, fantastic. Let's keep going. Uh, look at ourselves a whole bunch of gold from doing this. Hey, and dead. No sign of a trophy. Unfortunate. We have ourselves four more after this particular fight. Let's try and get them all to, like, drop their stuff on here. Uh, still. Still no. God dang it. Right, hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, all right, all right, hey, hey, there you go. You're dead. All right, another one. Another one bursts of dust. Tss, dun, tss, dun, tss. Another one bites the dust. Oh, there's a trophy, boys. All right. Well, that's that done. The Eye of Cthulhu is now officially finished. Awesome. Okay, so we've got a trophy and a whole bunch of treasure bags. Yeah, boys. Oh, man, we're looking good so far, folks. Okay, so... Oh, that's right. The gold coins are included within the thing. The thing. The, the, the treasure bags, that is. All right. So here we go. We're heading down back into this place here and we can start filling in the Eye of Cthulhu chest for some stuffs and we can start placing this thing down. There we go. Another trophy for our collection. Look at our trophy collection, folks. We have ourselves 13, 14, 15 trophies, is that? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, we've got 16. Wow. 16 trophies. Did I count that right? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 13, 15. Yeah, we do have 15. Do you know what? I can't count. I can't count. I've got an A grade in maths, and apparently that's diminished to, uh, like, nothing now. Alright, what do we got? Anything special? Dang it. We didn't get the binoculars, which is something we need to try and get. Uh, I've Cthulhu. Okay. What's the best out of this? Angry? Angry's pretty good. I can't, I'm kind of liking that. I've Cthulhu mask, a bunch of demonite ore. I mean, we could pretty much place all of that stuff in there. And the rest of this is, like, dupe stuff. I mean, technically speaking, you get the potions from it, so I'm going to put that in there as well. But the rest of it, we can pretty much just sell. All right, buddy. You are going to, you know, enjoy all my stuff. There you go. All right. Yeah, we've got 50 gold from that as well. That's pretty nice, isn't it? All right. So, let's do that. Ah, oh, dang it. Can you, like, stop doing that, you silly moron? All right. So, what are we thinking next? I mean, we don't need to do the Eye of Cthulhu anymore. We need to do the Eater of Worlds, though. Do we have any, uh, do we have any orbs left? Oh, we do. Okay, might be worth going ahead and breaking some more shadow orbs to try and get ourselves some stuff going that way. So let's go and get that done. Alrighty, guys, the time has come. Let's get ourselves some more Eater of Worlds, huh? I actually discovered a new area of the corruption that uh, that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, there's another one. Alright, let's get this third one, and then we'll have ourselves an Eater of Worlds fight. Oh, a coin. Hey, five gold coins for free, buddies. Ah, right, let's go for it, boys. Alright, and now this guy... Is going to get shredded. Go on, keep it going, boys. Oh, mate! Everybody just got destroyed. Okay. Oh, 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 was there a trophy in that? I don't think there was, you know. Dang it, dude. All right, what do we got? We've got a Slimer banner. We've got ourselves a treasure bag. I mean, all of that stuff is kind of awesome, huh? So, you know, no complaints and all that. Uh, right, is there, like, anything else that's, you know, cool? 
mean, it doesn't look like it. Alright, well, uh, I mean, I guess we can get maybe another couple fights going. I mean, I've had some more demon altars at the very least. I might be able to break them and get some, uh, get some more ores, but... I don't really see a point in doing that, to be honest with you guys, because we've already got a whole bunch of ores. We don't need to get any more ores, like, at all. All right, Band of Star Power, awesome. Why do I feel like I haven't had a Band of Star Power in this world? Huh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being dumb, which is entirely possible, let's be honest. All right, here we go. Uh, this is the second one. Oh, we got a meteorite landing. Okay, nice one. We got ourselves a, uh, what was that? A uh, vile thorn. Okay, pretty cool. Hurry up, and another one by some dust. Ding, ding, ding. Another one is biting the dust. Well, I mean, I might as well just not do anything anymore. I don't need to. I mean, just look at that. Everybody just got destroyed. <laughs> All right, there's the trophy, boys. Let's go, man. Oh, mate, this farming session is turning out to be a rousing success so far. All right, peeps, let's get this thing rolling. Number one inbound. All right, I'm hoping that the guy just going to spawn back, like, real quick, because um, it will make this farming session just a little bit easier, wouldn't it? All right, let's have a bit of that. That is a treasure bag, and it's going to give me... Oh, it's a ranger emblem. Dang it, I was about to get super hyped there for a minute. <laughs> All right, well, uh, kind of cool. I mean, we didn't get a clockwork assault rifle before, did we? Not bad. Not bad. All right, all we got to do is wait for the guide, really. I mean... Hopefully he doesn't disappoint us in terms of how long he's going to take to spawn back in. Hopefully he'll spawn back real quick and we can continue this farming session. But uh, you never know. It's Terraria. <laughs> Alrighty. He spawned back in and now he's going to die. I'm sorry, Tanner. It's the way of the world, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for him. The amount of times he's getting killed. And dead. Alright. You got a trophy in there, Butsky? Uh, I'm not seeing any. Uh... I don't know. Alright, let's just crack this thing open real quick. Uh, yeah, no sign of a treasure bag, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess we'll see what we've got anyway. Uh, we've got ourselves... Warrior Emblem! Let's go, boys! That's one of the things I actually wanted to get. Huh, that's amazing. Okay, we can reforge that, get menacing on it, and boy, oh boy, this Terrarian, its damage is about to go through the goddamn roof, dudes. Oh, mate. I'm actually really happy about that. It's only a wall of flesh drop for crying out loud, but man, I'm I'm still super hyped. <laughs> Traveling merchant has arrived. Oh, do I dare go up and see what he's got? Where is he actually residing? Is he at the main base? Oh, dang it. No, he's at the... Oh, the guide has arrived as well. All right, we'll kill the guide first, and then uh, we'll get the wall of flesh taken down, and then we'll see what the traveling merchant has, okay? How does that sound? Wait, what the hell? He's at the freaking truffle base. What the heck? He should be there. This is a very weird place. All right. Uh, oh, Wall of Flesh Trophy, boys. Let's go, man. All right. So, we have ourselves the Warrior Emblem. And like I said, I would really like to try and get Menacing on it. So, let's head up to this guy. What's your name this time? Murunok. 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 I don't know how they'll to pronounce that, to be honest with you guys. Maybe it's a silent M or something. I don't know. But anyways, here we go. We are looking for menacing. I mean, it's not like we don't have enough platinum to keep going until we get to menacing. Uh, guarding, hasty, quick, wild, intrepid, violent, lucky, arcane, hasty, hasty, arcane. Are you actually going to make me spend all of my goddamn money doing this? You freaking jerk bag. All right, this guy. I don't like this guy anymore. This guy is a jerk. I've got to kill him. I've got to kill this guy. Murunok. You're gonna die, buddy. Seriously, how many tries did that take? Did you guys count right there? That was amazing. Okay, right. So, in terms of what this is going to replace, I'm thinking of replacing the Charm of Myths with it. Now, the Charm of Myths is actually a very good thing. I don't know. Worm Scarf, it's a nice thing to have. In fact, there's no reason why I couldn't put Menacing on most of this stuff here, right? So, maybe we get Menacing on this? There we go! Menacing Worm Scarf! Uh, Stardust Wings, we can maybe get something better on this. You know what? Admittedly, I can't quite believe just how cheap these uh, Stardust Wings are to reforge. Compared to other wings, they are super cheap! It's amazing! Okay, so what else we got? Armored? We can get something better on that. Maybe a little bit of the old warning action. That'll give us 8 defense within itself. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, we could have Menacing! That's pretty nice too, right? Alright, and let's put this thing on, and how much damage will the Terrarian do now? It's gonna be well over 300, but we'll see in 3, 2, 1, BOOM! 340! Wow! That is a serious increase of damage! Okay, I think we could get more damage on this again, man. I mean, it's only superior. I don't see a reason why we can't get, like, Ruthless or something. Hurtful? Nah. Well, oh, that's more like it! Look at that! 
355 damage. Godly. Jesus Christ, bro. That is a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, boys. We're looking good right now. Okay, sweet. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill up this chest. I'm thinking of what boss to do next. Um... I don't know, maybe we can do some of the mech bosses? I mean, what have we got in terms of mech boss trophies? We've got the twins, and that's about it. So we need to get Skeletron Prime and the Destroyer on the way in terms of the, in terms of the bosses, okay? Seems like a cool idea, right? So here we go. I'm going to chuck these in here. Uh, yeah, all of you can go in there. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. All right, you can get away, you can go away. We've got all these guide voodoo dolls. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to do, my friends. Still a lot of organizing, still a lot of farming. What a kind of jazz. It's going to be cool though, my friends. It's going to be cool. If we can get some trophies, that'd be fantastic. All right, let's get ourselves prepped. Let's wait for nighttime to roll around. Let's get some mech boss ponage going, shall we? Alrighty, guys, check it out. We have four of each of the mech boss summoners. We don't even need to use the mechanical eye, so I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to trouble myself with them, to be honest. But so yeah, we've got four mechanical worms, four mechanical skulls, and if we can get trophies from both, that would be super amazing. Now... Here's the thing. Should we go and take them both at the same time? I feel like we can. Let's do it. All right. Here we go, folks. This is how you do it. Let's get the dog on on here. And let's get this guy on us. And yeah, time, time to pwn some sweet butt. All right, boys. Let's get it done. Oh, my God. This thing does 355 damage. And boy, can you really tell. <laughs> This is a Terrarium was doing like 295 damage before, but it's now got an increase of 60 damage, which is just ridiculous if you think about it, really. Uh, right. No sign of a trophy from him. Let's go and get another one going. No, so here we go. Oh, no. So many dudes. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Look at all that damage, bro. Holy. Hello. Hey, buddy. Come on. And this guy is almost done. Present tense, he is done. Uh, this guy is also done. Uh, still no sign of a trophy though. Let's keep it going. Let's get another two going. Boom! Alright! What else have we got going? Oh, these guys. I don't know why they're even trying. Wow, this guy almost got taken down in one swoop. What the hell? Okay, another one out of the game. No sign of a trophy though, folks. Alright, let's get ourselves another one. Oh, mate. I might need some more uh, destroyed things to take down, dude. Here we go. Oh, my god. Dude, I'm telling you, man, this Tarawin is like the best weapon in the game. Even better than the last prism, in my humble opinion. I mean, it's amazing. Oh, Destroyer Trafer! We got it from the final Destroyer we, take, we took down! That's amazing! I'm actually really happy about that. Alright, now, to put the icing on the cake, this guy is going to give me a trophy, right? Come on, boys. Uh, nope, no trophy that time, but we'll continue on, my friends. Uh, we can do this thing. And I tell you what, just because we can... Crap, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was actually meaning to get the mechanical eyes and uh, do them as well, because why not? I just want to take down all the mech bosses because I'm feeling suicidal and idiotic like that. All right, let's keep it going. Come on, keep it going, buddies. All right, let's have a little bit of health here. Oh, let's not die. That would be incredible if we can, like, not die. What is my, where's my dragon going? I don't know what he's doing right now, but uh, if you could, like, actually kill people, that'd be amazing. Come on, buddy. Do 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 Hey, buddy. Oh, man. This guy's got so much health. It's actually kind of crazy. He's always the one that takes the longest to kill, in my opinion. Kind of crazy. All right, there you go. You're dead. Uh, no sign of a trophy from him. Let's get this guy out of the game. Okay, he is out of the game. Let's get another couple bosses going, shall we? All right, let's go. Okay, I mean, I'm not seeing any, uh, I'm not seeing any trophies on the ground. If this guy could give me a trophy, that would be incredible, okay? That would really, really be incredible. I'd be very, very happy if that was the case. Uh, this green eye is about to change. Uh, make that present tense, he has changed. Okay, keep it going, though. And green eye's out of the game. Let's take this guy down. Come on, buddy. Oh, my God. You see, sometimes this is what you need to do in Terraria. Well, this is what you need to do in Terraria just to restore your confidence a little bit. Just take down a whole bunch of bosses at the same time. I mean, why not? I could have taken down all three types of mech bosses at the same time, but apparently I didn't for some strange reason. I'm not entirely sure why, let's be honest. But uh, here we go. Uh, this guy, I'll tell you, let's just get another, another, another pair of twins going. Boom. Hello. Hi there. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> It's just so hilarious just taking down all these guys at the same time. It's so satisfying. All right, come on. If we can get a Skeletron Prime trophy, I'm going to be the happiest guy in the world. Come on. All right, this guy's almost done. Uh, he is done. But I don't think I got a trophy from him. 
Unless I did and I didn't see it. I mean, it's entirely possible, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get anything. Oh, this guy's the only one left. Oh, all by yourself. All by myself. Dead. Boom. Go. Next one. Let's go, boys. All right. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> loads of people. Loads and loads of people. Uh, mechanical wagon piece. So the wagon piece has to be from the destroyer, right? Because that's the uh, that's the uh, only thing I opened. The treasure bag. That's the only treasure bag I opened, that is. Ah, okay. Oh, there's another trophy on the ground for the for the green eye, dude. <laughs> don't even need it. I don't need it, brother. Hello. Come on, boy. Come on, man. You're dead. And let's get this red eye done. Oh, man. A meteorite has landed. Oh, no. A bit late for that, aren't you, buddy? I wonder where it's landed, actually. I'm actually kind of interested to know. All right. Well, that's, that's everybody, isn't it? That is everybody. Unfortunately, we didn't get a Skeletron Prime trophy. That's... That is kind of unfortunate, but we got a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, holy crap, man. We got a heck ton of stuff. Alright, we got a bunch of blocks and whatnot. I mean, we just don't need all of it, do we? We got like hearts all over the place, just spammed everywhere. Uh, right, let's get you chucked away. Uh, mushrooms, let's get you chucked away. And that'll just about do it for that. Alright, cool. So. Aside from the accidental thing that we opened up, so the wagon piece 100% is the destroyer, so we can start putting them in the destroyer chest, so that's totally fine and dandy, and then, yeah, we're going to open up the rest of these things. So let me go ahead and organize my stuff real quick, and then, yeah, we'll get on with that. And yes, let's not forget about the Souls of Might, huh? Alright guys, we got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff going on here. So we got the destroyed treasure bags first, and then we got the twins, and then of course Skeletron Prime follows shortly after. So here we go. What do we get? Pretty much nothing, let's be honest. Alright, so let's go put you straight away in there. Let's do the twins. Uh, nothing interesting. 129 Souls of Sight though. Wow! That's a lot, isn't it? Alright, and let's get you opened up. Uh, 143 souls of fright. Wow. So much stuff. Amazing. And a whole crap ton of potions as well. <laughs> wow. Look at all this stuff, man. That's amazing. Are there any rare drops you can get from these guys? I don't think there is, is there? Not even in expert mode. I mean, there's the dev sets, but we don't really need them, do we? So, yeah. Mm, not too bad. We do still need to farm out Skeletron Prime for his trophy, though, so that'll be something to do in a future episode. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be time to end this particular episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this Boss Ponage episode, do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating and hit that subscribe button, too, if you don't want to miss out on my future Terraria content. But thanks for watching, folks. My name is Python. I appreciate your continued support. Very much so. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.